I'm alive and still big, says Cesar. Yeah, you helped me murder. I'm sorry, you helped gravity take place. Okay, what is this? <laughs> One of the guys that we have giving us advice for the meeting of the minds is currently in a foreign prison. How? He's in a foreign prison. How did he show up? Enter the laboratory. Uh, and, um, great. Yeah, people are arguing. Big Dick Sassarus. Uh, right, because you're actually, you're a regent and you're also a member of the Hermetic Society. You're arguing with the guy who's currently in prison. I don't know fucking how. Um, Big Dick Sassarus argues for a riskier but potentially more rewarding route. Well, I'm going with Sassarus on this one then. I'm going the risky one. I want the baddest thing I can make. Drop another 200 on that. God. Who jacked up their respect? This fucker? Kill him. Yeah, kill him. I don't care about him. I have 450% murder chance on him. There we go. He's He'll be dead in under a month. <laughs> love this stream. Yeah, I love CK2 so much. It's such a fun game. Yeah, we'll use some Yarrow and, uh, and help out with uh, Stellar Phenomenon research. Keep studying. Always keep studying. You want the best you can get. Okay, great minds think alike, even though this is the guy we pissed off before. And again, he is in a foreign prison. How is he here? Oh, hey, here we go. You know, they weren't having an independence war, but a couple little things actually broke off here. That's interesting. Hmm. They're not going to join me, right? Yeah, false religion, foreign culture, not just your liege. Holy Roman Emperor is low on troops. A lot of that, though, he'll build back up. It's just because they died recently and they'll come back. Jerusalem Prosper is always nice. We've lost Lustful. Oh, that's part of why we were having so many kids then. Uh, Jerusalem is currently flourishing. That's a pretty good trade. And I'm just double checking some of our trade posts in the area just to see if the tech has caught up there for me to upgrade them more. It has a little. Let's do some of the cheap ones just because we're still trying to build money. We'll get a better merchant enclave. Yeah. How many kids do I have, says uh, Sassarus? Um, you have a rank in our government, right? You're a regent. Here you are. You are very talented at war. I'm happy that we have you helping with the creation of this weapon. Uh, you only have one kid. You've got bigger Dick Sassarus. Yeah, who's 28. And you're 47. Bigger dick here, married some West African lady? That's rare. Okay. Um, bigger dick Sassarus actually doesn't have any phenomenal stats. Star struck. Okay. Has a star name in, named in their honor. That's cool. I don't know how you earned that. Doesn't seem like you're anyone particularly important. Yeah, you just you're just a courtier in someone's court. You don't have any important jobs. Uh, oh, yeah, was there a reward on your head? This is one of those things where it's random whether or not you might have the Emperor like you more and they might dislike you. It's random. Approve the plan to blow up that patrician. Yeah. There's a star named Bigger Dick. Yeah, there's, that means that there is a star in the world called Bigger Dick Sassarus. That's amazing. Indulgent Wastrel. Lame. You can be charitable. That's probably why you're an Indulgent Wastrel, though. The enemy of We've created the handgun, everybody! Awesome. Alright, let's see what it does. That's a really rare item we just made. Oh, I love technology in this game. We've created the handgun, even though it looks like it's a picture of a carbine. This thin metal barrel is not an impressive sight, but the destruction it causes inspires awe and fear in equal measure. Due to a highly explosive black powder, it can fire metal balls. Uh at deadly speeds. I think literally what we've created is actually a, uh, it's, it's not like a Glock. I think what we literally made is just a metal tube with like a wooden handle on the bottom there. And we just know how to fire with black powder, fire a pellet through it. It's more like a blow dart, but with black powder. Either way, uh, what does this count as? That counts as a primary weapon. It's learning, massive amount of, per of personal combat, a lot of prestige, and moral damage because it scares the hell out of people. 
I don't think I'm going to use it though, because we have the Pillar of Solomon, which is probably better. Pillar of Solomon gives less personal combat, but two martial, monthly prestige, pikemen up, mounted troops. Up. Now, now the pikemen and mounted troops, that only matters if I'm leading the battle, as does the moral defense. Or sorry, the, the moral damage. Um, monthly prestige, I believe I get that just for having it. Now, the martial up by two, I, the, the learning up by one though, do we get that just for owning it? We'll see when I unpause, I guess. Unless it already applied, I don't know. Well, if I equip it right now, then we'll see. Yes, that's only if you equip it. Uh, went out with a bang, cool. No trace that I was complicit. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep using the Pillar of Solomon then. However, having this in our inventory does give us uh, monthly prestige. And worst case scenario, if we have something that we know for sure is gonna be our heir, we can give it to our heir so he's got higher combat skill. You know, keep him safe. Yeah, we basically made a Chinese, uh, a, a classic Chinese hand cannon. Oh no, that guy died. Sucks to be him. Oh look, none of our competition has have almost any respect at all. Wonder how that happened. You know what? I kind of want to kill this guy just to get all of his, um, all of his trade posts, but at the same time, if I just get like one below my trade post limit, then I can manually make one in Damascus and that'd be worth a lot. Whereas if I'm way above my, my limit, that would just never happen. Brew something with a hint of wormwood. Yeah, make my kid. That's a kid, right? That's one of our kids? Yeah. Make one of our kids calm down without having to like pull myself away from my studies. I don't know if that picked up on the camera. I don't know if that happened, but I just took a little sip of tea or of coffee and somehow a little droplet of it flew up into my eyelash. It must be okay. You know how cup lids, they have a little hole like on a plastic cup lid. They have a little hole just so that there's equal pressure when you're like taking in liquid so that air can go in so that the liquid can come out. It must have flown from there. That was weird. I think that was a failed assassination attempt, attempt from my coffee, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> what is this? Earning our wife's trust. I'm curious about her faith. Sure. And this makes me sympathetic towards Eastern religions. I'm fine with that. Didn't actually work? Okay, whatever. Made her like me more. Said <laughs> Yes, put the coffee in the pit. Soon after writing, hey, we gained 300 grace. The guy who uh, came to us from China was running away from the emperor. Okay, rank ourselves up. This will get us to an adept. That's another learning and horoscopes, which we already have a horoscope, so we're not doing it. Special tithe, almost 2,000 gold. Boom. Okay, this is our new zero. Eight, eight, I'm going to say 8,500 is our new zero for safety. So that the next time we get a chance to get a new holding in our capital, we're doing it my privilege. There we go. We're an adept now. Even more beautiful deck points. We can get that legalism level now. Boom. We got it. And the next level above that is even more tax obligations, which we will definitely do. Okay. Right off the bat, we are changing it so that the nobles give us an even heavier troop levy. So right now, how much do we get out of them? We're getting almost 20,000 troops out of the nobles. So this is all the castle owners will give us less money, which they barely make money anyway, and it will give us more troops. And because they have more money in their hands, uh, they can spend that money on upgrading their castles, which will in turn lead to more money and more troops, which is which then I will take a very large cut of. There we go. There we go. That squeezes out another two and a half thousand troops for us on our levy. That's very much worth it. Um, and that's pretty impressive considering we don't have a ton of castle owners in the country. Like we have a lot of castle owners, but a lot of them are small barons. A good chunk of our major landowners are, are um, they, they count, they're under the laws for burghers because they are merchant republic. They're like mayors basically. In which case, um, them, we're going to be pushing them heavier into tax once we get a chance. Why must we argue about this? Eh, piss off our wife again. Whatever. Helps our research. When's the next law change? 10 years. So in October of um, 1088. 
Sun was born to Frost Whisper. Cool, we have another potential heir there because he will be of both bloodlines. Okay, um, I think it's time we do another round of upgrading trade posts. Um, that was a misclick because I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, where is this one? This one's in that whole water part. Okay. There, we got a couple upgrading. Let's get a little bit more money again. Everything is so clear now. Ten esoteric knowledge. That leads to better things, don't worry. Ten esoteric knowledge is pretty pathetic. Raiders? Not many. Raiders? Uh, that's a bad spot, but they're immediately leaving. I understand so much. Conclude research. Cool. Remember, base 8,500. Yeah, we gotta keep that in mind. Stewardship focus again? Maybe. Has it been five years? Uh, let's check. It has not. We can change in four years. <coughs> Is threat gone? Yes. Yes, it is. We're not threatening anymore. Which means we don't have defensive pacts against us. So we could start pressing claims. What do we have claims on right now? <clears throat> Some of the eastern land, and of course a tiny bit of western. Ireland, like what could you do if we declared on you, Ireland? You've got 8,000 troops, but you'd probably have to, a lot of it is probably your mainland, so you probably have to boat that over, which is slow. So we get a big head start. <clears throat> we could claim, what are we even claiming there? I'm not even sure where we're claiming this. I don't see any blue showing up. Oh, we're pl pressing a claim on that? Huh. That'd be weird. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather just de jure claim it. We have de jure claims over here, don't we? Yeah, the blue. So we can de jure claim one of those two. <clears throat> I'll do one for the King of Bohemia, just to make sure he likes us. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, let's just get our troops in position first. Uh, so I'll just take care of that real quick, then march over here. Seclude myself in meditation? Sure, I trust my regent. We'll only be in meditation for a short time anyway. And do we have a... We have an administrator. Yeah, we need the movement speed and then have him on there. Do we have a lead the center? No, then we'll just take our best guy there. And we're, we're above our vassal limit. Yeah, we're above a lot of our limits. We will be until we're out of meditation, but meditation is very short. <clears throat> No more secret documents occupying my work desk, even though I'm meditating right now. Still uh, an absence of any observation specific light uh, in the sky between the two well-known star for, uh, formations. Oh, we get to name it. Um, hmm, we can become proud, which is not bad. Or we can make someone... Oh, we'll, we'll name it after a wife so she stops hating us as much. There we go. Regency has ended. There we go. We became temperate, or 20% chance. We got it! Holy shit, temperate's really good. That's two stewardship. Sweet. Someone fancies us? No, not appropriate. Not doing it. Our wife hates us enough. <clears throat> Alright, took care of that. Oh, cool, we're depressed. Negative one in every stat. That's not good. Alright, get into position there. Uh, I think we're just going to go for this war now. I really don't see why not. Brew a potion. Commit suicide. That's a terrifying button. Um, we do not have two ingredients. We can't currently acquire ingredients because we've done it too, re too recently. Balls. We'll have to wait. I will donate 300 bucks to the zealots, though. Keep the temple vassal opinion up, you know? Why not? Okay. Uh, I think we're just going to declare. I don't really see why not. There we go. And I will split off a small amount to go over here and siege another place just for more war score. There we go. We'll keep an eye out, see if anyone shows up to try and stop us, but um, they'll probably show up by boat along here to try and stop, and I can just run in the big army if I need to. 
<clears throat> we'll see. I'm, I'm just keeping an eye over here for like enemy sieges and stuff. See if anything like that pops up. Something did for a second. Oh, it was these guys showing up in my land and immediately leaving. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're sieging that like it's nothing. We have them drastically outnumbered. We've got a siege expert. Is this not even... Oh, no, they do have a castle. It's just... Oh, well, city level two. It's not imp that impressive, but it does have walls. So, you know, I'm surprised it's doing that poorly, actually. We fully sieged it like it was nothing. <clears throat> Discussion till dawn, landscaping in Carpathia, especially around Stenton. Sending a letter. Okay, Grace. I'll gladly take that, Grace. Yeah. How are we not getting rid of the smuggler's ring and the highway rubber band? Usually that only takes a couple years to go away on its own. It's been like 10 years. The detriment we have from that is so steep. It's awful. Okay, start sieging the stuff up there then. God, that sucks. Build a fort there. Dirt sheep. Title loss in succession. This Who pulled ahead of me in respect? This guy? I'm killing him. Like he's nothing. Our, our family is so powerful compared to the others. Oh, there we go. We got some troops over there. Curious about her faith. Sure. And they're tied up with some vassals, so I'm just going to walk in and completely crush them like they're nothing. That was a misclick. Just take whatever crap guys will join you there. And we are completely squashing them. There we go. That's a major victory. Good. That's probably their whole army, right? Almost. They've got 4,000 left. They really don't stand a chance. Is there any way you can get the head of your religion to declare a holy war like he did when you conquered Egypt? We could request an invasion, although we're unlikely to get it. Um, like, let's click on a random, random country up here. Uh, these guys. Who look like they control very little, but I, I'm pretty sure they actually have powerful vassals. Um, can I request invasion? No, I can't afford to lose that piety. Fewer realm holdings than um, that person. Primary. So the invasion, for me to request an invasion, they need to have a smaller country than my country. And because my country is so enormous, that is very difficult to do. I might be the biggest country. Byzantine Empire has more holdings and Holy Roman Empire should have more holdings. Yes. So, Byzantine Empire and Holy Roman Empire are probably the only ones I could do it with. I think Devid might have more. No, I have more than Devid. Because they've got the revolt going on is probably what's hurting that. There's actually a lot of revolts in the east. Can you rename your gun David Sling? That's a really good idea. I'm going to do that. That's a great name for that. There we go. That's a great suggestion. That's awesome. Who said that? That was, um, Tomaron Harar. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Sorry. <clears throat> Keep the trade right running. It's only 200 to do that. Dirt cheap. Also, I'll just do another trade post upgrade run. Uh, eh, trade value. Kind of expensive. It's probably cheaper things I could do that are better. Yeah, there we go. There's a few good ones there. Siege there going well, beautiful. Got those raiders out of my land easy. Why are they going to... Oh, th those are some Irish troops, no wonder. 
I was gonna say, why are those raiders just walking to my land? They know I'm right there. No, it's Irish troops and they're being idiots. All right, done that siege. We already have good war score. This is going well. Drayton is not to be toyed with. They won another war. Yeah, China rarely loses wars. Hey, we're sawing out someone's balcony. Cool. I really want to get that event to make a new thing in Stanton again. They are still booming, so it can happen. Let's get another Gusar training ground, probably, because seriously, that is so good. Any other things we want here right now? I mean, I could finally start on uh, some more upgrades in the new city. It's got all the money and tech ones right now, but I can start getting, like, pikemen and stuff. And city fortifications are so dirt cheap, I may as well start on that. How's the world conquering going? Quite well. Right now we're just doing a, hey, no one knows that I was the murderer. Cool. Um, uh, his next guy has a lot of respect too. Can we just kill him real quick? We're murdering a lot, everybody. 600% chance he won't make it through the month, I don't think. Okay, come on, get that murder going. Murder is fun and profitable. Uh, we fully sieged that. Okay. They're almost ready to give in. Reputation's ruined. Oh no, people know I'm trying to murder. We hit it so well. Okay, we're gonna blow him up now. <clears throat> oh, we converted Alexandria to Judaism. Cool. Uh, what do we want to convert next? Mm, we got a good amount of Judaism around the country now. We don't have any in this area. Let's start converting on the border there, where there's all these different religions fighting. How do you get to 600%? You may as well uh, kill yourself. <coughs> I'm guessing what you mean is you may as well kill the person yourself at that point. All right, uh, Cronella, Cronelia. You know what? We always need more commanders. <coughs> I feel energized. God is with us. Cool. We lost depressed. Good. Depressed is a really terrible trait. Just insta siege that. And that. There. We're at 98% war score. Are they giving in yet? Nope. This is one of those stubborn ones. Okay. Okay, we'll keep that army up in that area. The ticking war score will probably give it to us in a minute. There we go. Killed another guy. Oh, hey, the new guy's got to respect to zero because it's just some little kid. Which probably means if we kill him, that's probably the last guy it can be. Oh, no, he's got a sibling. If I kill both of them, I would inherit all of their trade posts. You know what? Let's just do that. The, the mountain of trade posts I would inherit by killing out all these other families would be worth it. Kill the kid. It's almost 700% murder chance. Classic! Oh my god, I started the plot, like, a day ago in-game. Got a new commander. I've got people stationed- oh, okay, it's 100%. I have people stationed near all of the land I'm occupying, too. There we go, we usurped the land. Didn't even gain enough threat to, uh, become... Uh, we didn't even gain enough threat from that to become threatening. Perfect. We could- let's go for Lithuania next. Don't see why not. Okay, uh, sm Smaug? I still think- I'm still not sure if that's how you pronounce that. Smog, I guess it could be. Get an education in duty because you might end up leading the country one day. So we want you to be good with money and land. Celebrate with beer. The wine did not agree with Aaron. He's- Okay, he's 15. I thought it was younger than that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, the next kid is a one-year-old. Okay, let's kill this. Let's kill this sickly one-year-old. What's our chance to kill this kid? Oh my god, look how many people are willing to join my plot. We've already approved the plan. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um... What is this? Uh, divine knowledge is tantalizing. What if we anger the being? Uh, no, let's just do it. Let's summon Satan or whatever. Fund an expedition? No. Switch to new focus? 
We can't for another two years, I thought. Yeah, can't for another two years. <clears throat> Chicken for lunch today, I think. Uh, yep, we threw him off a building, I think. Suspicious circumstances. Who inherited now? A zero-year-old. We can get a 500% plus. He's harder to kill than the 15-year-old. Okay. Okay, we are already playing to kill him. Oh my god. How, how good are we at murder at this point? It's awesome. Tell us about the sun. Detached priest. Lame. Crap trait. Come on, merge those. Oh, we'll have to try again. We failed to kill him. I'll try again. It'll probably take a week at most. There we go. Merge that. Oh, cool. We actually gained one stewardship for once. I want plot power increased by 10%. Yeah, as if I don't have enough. Okay, Lithuania. You're pretty small. Uh, I think I just want to beat the hell out of you. I could just holy war for you. You are... He's incredibly weak. I can just holy war you. What, what would it cost me to do this? Like nothing. Yeah, I'm just gonna holy war you. Walk in, take him over. We do have a siege expert on this. Good. There. Approve the plan for another murder. There we go. Oh, took a prisoner, and I think that was their king. <laughs> that was someone very valuable, because it gave us 75% war score. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, most of that was the battle. Wow. Apparently that guy was very valuable to them. Oh, this, they have 90, they have 69 people defending that place. It's nothing. There. Yeah, this war's not gonna last long, everybody. They they don't stand a chance. Try again. Wow, really? We have once again failed to kill this one-year-old? Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. Was this the beginning of the Asterius playthrough again? Oh, she's pregnant again. How? She hates us. We've had no evidence that it's a bastard child. Her happiness is important to me? We lose our marshal? No, she can shut up. God, she's the worst. Uh, exalted Empire to pin- oh, yeah, the dragon's not to be toyed with. China took someone over again. Any plots against us? Probably. I'm always a little nervous when I hit the target button that the game will crash because that one time it did it. Even though when it crashed, it actually helped us. Um, mm, That's a fabricate. I don't care. Yeah, none of the plots that we know of are actually ones we care about. Okay, we're trying to murder again. Name is pronounced like there's an A rather than an O. Smeg? Is it Smeg? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, city fortifications, keep it going. <clears throat> How hard is it to kill one kid? I know, right? Finally, there's the sound of a child dying. There we go. Yep. We have destroyed that whole thing. And did we just get a bunch of trade posts for that? Uh, we got some, because our limit is 20 and we have 21, so we inherited something out of them. Looks like this guy inherited them, though. Oh, no, it'd be this guy. That or he just started a new one. I think he just started a new one. I think what it was is... Oh, 100% of war, thank you. I think what it is is uh, it probably gave the trade post randomly to, like, everybody. That's why I didn't gain many. Okay, well, we'll just make the others go extinct. This guy has no kids. And his brother is dead. We'll kill him next. He's easy to kill. He'll probably be easier than that kid. <clears throat> okay, end the war. Easy. And we're threatening again, but we took some land. Can create a title. 
Cool. Duchy of Livonia. Create that. 